Hello my little rose petals and my little rose thorns. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Nancy Drew Message in a Haunted Mansion. So in the last part, this, well, well, it was the introductory part to this series. We met all of the characters and explored the mansion. And now we are here in the library. So it has been a little bit since I recorded. And at the moment, I have a bit of an itchy voice. I'm not getting sick necessarily, but I am feeling a twinge of itchiness and annoyance. And my voice does sound a little weird. But I figured I would record because I have not recorded anything for the past several days and I'm a little bit behind. So, yeah, it's just been a crazy couple days here. So, there is that. So, let's go ahead and start off the part by calling some people. Since we can do that in this game. So, we can call home Bess or Emily. Let's go ahead and call home. Now this is the only Nancy Drew game in the series where you can call Hannah and actually talk to Hannah. Hannah is basically our maid Groom slash residence. nanny. Hannah Groon speaking. Hi Hannah. Nancy, how are you? And how's Rose? Great. I'm really glad you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. I'm so happy you're out there. But I'm worried about all the accidents she's having. There's just been so many. What has Rose said about them? She doesn't say much, but I know they've become worse and worse. That's one of the reasons why I asked you to visit her to see if everything is all right. So yeah, as I was saying, Hannah Groon is basically Nancy's second mom. She is not married to Nancy's father or anything, but she was hired around the time um, after Nancy's mother died and kind of took care of the house for Nancy and Carson Drew. And this is the only episode or the only game in the series where you can actually talk to her. Do you suspect there's something more to these accidents? <sighs> I don't know. Rose is under a lot of pressure to open that bread and breakfast on time, and I'm worried that it may be too much for her. When is she planning to open it? In a month or two, Rose spent her entire life savings on the house. If this doesn't work out, she won't have 30 more years to earn the money back. Well, I should let you get back to your renovation work. Thank you for calling. There's probably no reason for concern. But be on the lookout for anything unusual. Goodbye, dear. So that is Hannah. So let's go ahead and call our best friend, Bess. Which in the Nancy Drew books, um, I believe that Nancy and Bess aren't best friends. They're just acquaintances and they get to be best friends later. Her and then Bess's uh, cousin, George Fane. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. George is here. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi, George. Hey, what's up? I'm in San Francisco, helping a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, some strange accidents have delayed the project. Uh-oh. Well, get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. So, tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? Mm, not really. Uh... Rose is really lucky. This antique dealer, Louis Chandler, is helping her out, although he doesn't know very much about the house's history. That makes sense. If the house was built before 1906, most of its records were probably destroyed in the earthquake. But wouldn't he know at least something about it if he's some kind of expert on old things? I'm sure he knows a lot about old stuff, just not architecture or houses. Then why hire him? What, what would be the point? Okay? I don't know. <clears throat> um, I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young, and I don't think he has much experience. Maybe yeah. he doesn't charge very much, so he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Or maybe he's just cute. Bess, is that all you can think about? No. <laughs> I love Bess and George. Okay. Um, can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. We'll be more than happy to help. But it might be more fun to figure it out on your own. Talk to Rose and see if she has a renovation project for you. Just remember to finish what you start. 
Okay. I should get going. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye. Okay, and then we can call Emily, who looks like Emily is in the area, so we don't have to die her an area code. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? I haven't heard from you in ages. How's Hannah in River Heights? You're not in San Francisco, are you, my dear? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Actually, I am. I'm helping one of Hannah's friends, Rose Green, renovate this wonderful old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Hmm. Seems to be the trend these days. I'll bet you're staying in the Haight-Ashbury district. The address is 4653 California Lane. Is that anywhere near there? No, I think you're in the Heights. The hate has many Victorians that have been restored, and a lot of them have been converted into bed and breakfasts. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> My editor gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the Dragons of San Francisco. Dragons? Dragons of San Francisco sounds exotic. What kind of dragons are you researching? Chinese dragons. My editor Ooh. thought this would make a great topic for a photo essay. The dragon is a very important symbol in Chinese culture. Yeah, speaking of dragons. So it seems. My room is full of Chinese decorations. Oh, sure. Many of the Victorians have rooms with themes, usually colors or cultures. I once spent a night in a Victorian where each room had a bird theme. Don't laugh, but I stayed in the nuthatch room. Let's see. Well, I guess that beats the turkey room. Are there a lot of Victorian mansions here in San Francisco? After the gold rush, San Francisco had a building boom, but most of the great Victorian mansions weren't built until the late 1800s. Nowadays, it's very popular to convert them into bed and breakfasts. So here's my thing, which I might have said in the last part. Why are they making them all into bed and breakfasts? Like, does California not have hotels? Does California not have motels? Can anyone answer this for me? <laughs> I've never been to California, so I don't know. Um, I mean, it just seems kind of dumb and seems like the market being so saturated would mean that there's not really a lot of business unless your bed and breakfast is like the best, because that's just a lot of bed and breakfast. Okay. Um, Were many of these mansions destroyed by earthquakes? Oh, yes. Many of the early Victorians were destroyed in the fires after the Great Earthquake in 1906. It's often quite difficult to find out about a house's history before that time. Oh dear, am I talking too much? <laughs> I get so distracted at times I tend to get carried away a bit. So how are you, Nancy? Why did you call? Is there anything I can help you out with? Um, we can talk to her about a lot of things. So I think Emily's going to be the one we really talk to in this game. Um, let's see, can you tell me about the Chinese writing system? Can you tell me about the Chinese writing system? I seem to come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. The Chinese have been an important part of San Francisco history for over a hundred years. The symbols are called Hanzi, and each one represents a particular thing, or an idea, or an action. You find them all over on business cards, takeout cartons, artwork. Okay. Yeah, we find them every. We even found a poem. All right, so. I found some old papers in the house, plus a page from a phone directory dated 1894. Oh, that sounds valuable. It's hard to find old documents like that before 1906. Okay. Have you heard of an antique dealer named Lewis Chandler? Nope, never heard of him. Well, that, I mean, I think that's plausible. He's not very well known, is he? Did they say he was well known? I don't remember. I might not have you heard attention. of an actress, Lizzie Applegate? Oh, sure. She was a good friend of Lotta Crabtree, another popular actress in the late 1800s. As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriental? I forget. Okay. Was it in this neighborhood? Is it still around? Oh, no. This one was downtown. It was very big, but I think it burned down. Great. Do you know anything about Valdez? I don't think so. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. I hope we'll talk soon. All 
Alright, and that does it for our phone calls. Which, oh, there we go. We can back up that way. Alright. So. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, so. Um. Do we need to do anything else? I don't believe so. We've talked to Hannah already, didn't we? Oh. Okay. I believe we did in the last part. I'm not sure. How are the tiles coming along? Oh. I'm still working on them. Don't work too hard. I'll remember that. Okay. <clears throat> there was something I wanted to look at that I did not look at in the previous game, I don't think. Here it is. When the bird of fire can see again. So see, there's all kinds of Chinese symbols, as Emily was saying, that they're on everything. It's just, it's just decoration, more like I guess. But all right, so I think we need to go talk to Abby. Um, I don't remember why. Let's see. Um, can we go up here? Yes. All right, and Abby's room is right here. Oh. Oh, okay. Old West romances. Interesting. Something's missing here. She's got a spider for her thing. All right. Interesting. Looks like a music box. We'll get to that in a minute, I think. Hmm. Mastering the art of illusion. Hmm. Something seems fishy about her then. Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, gosh. I thought it was like... Oh, wait. No, that's seeing into the hall. Okay, that's odd. The Zodiac in you. Hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure that the Zodiacs have changed over the years. Not necessarily the animals, but the... Um, Uh, just kind of what you are in fortune telling for business popularity. Her interactive publishing. Okay. Moon incense. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays. Oh, okay. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Oh, excuse me a second, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Okay. So there's that. So, we need to get out of her room before she comes back, I'm assuming. I don't see really anything else that we need to look at. Old West Romances. Did we look at this already? I totally don't remember. Okay. I think we've looked at that already. Oh, yep. And then she's got a key and everything. Okay. Well, that's her closet. I totally was looking. Something's missing here. Okay. I think she's actually gone the day I don't I'm not sure I forget what time she leaves so we could go downstairs oh gosh, that creaking just scared me oh let's see 
All right, so Abby is out from three to six. Okay, so yeah. So she wasn't gonna come back, but there's nothing really in her room. So let's just go up and sleep until I guess six. Cause that's when, um, yeah, that's just when she'll come back. Oh, because that's not scary and then just make me wet my drawers. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. So, have we looked at this? When the ten daughters are reunited in order. I believe we have. Okay. So, let us... Let us take a look at our notebook because I'm a little lost. Okay, why so many? Why is C so uptight about them? C. Charlie? Charlie. House haunted. Once a hotel, Golden Gardenia E. Valdez. Who's who? Rose, owner of the house, million dollar insurance policy. Believes in ghosts? Valdez, too young and experienced for work, antique dealer. So, I'm thinking that Charlie is a little bit un inexperienced. He's just trying to get by. So, let's... Yeah, let's sleep till six. Um, what time is it? Oh, yeah. So, 6 p.m., right? Yeah. So she should be back. I don't know who the heck is crying. The spirits wish to speak to you, Nancy. What? Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement. If you dare, please sit down. We really don't have time for this. What if I don't dare? Speaking, what if I don't dare? What if I don't dare? I didn't dare. The oh gosh. Of those who have passed before us. I didn't dare. Gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. Um, can it not? What's that? <gasps> who has called me forth from the great beyond? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? No. I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. <gasps> Where can she be? The spirits have spoken. Uh. The seance is over. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. What? What just happened? Okay, so... So, I'll, I was just gonna go talk to Abby about the fact that she's got weird things in her house. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay, what, wait a minute, what can, it's stuck. can I use this? Oh, hey, I can, key, all right, nice, we have a key, all right, so what now, um, I mean, what time is it, it's, is it 10 o'clock at night? Let's just sleep the night and get up in the morning. Oh, wait, no. We probably need to do some snooping at night. I don't wanna. <sighs> All right, 
Let's go. Okay, so... I need a paint scraper. It's locked. It's locked. Not the one for the attic. Okay. So we did that. Um, so what else do we need to do? Um, I guess... Basement. Ugh. We probably should go to the basement to see what was going on. So. Uh, I'm gonna be down here. Okay. Um, where were we sitting, actually? Can we go over there? Paint. Oh, okay, I guess we needed a screwdriver. Interesting. Can we move that at all? No. Okay. Oh! Aha! She faked it. She faked the whole thing. What is that? Smoke machine? So that goes up into a crystal ball. There's a microphone. It's a convenient little table then. All right. What else? It's stuck. Can I do this? It's stuck. No. Okay. Oh wait, screwdriver? It's stuck. No. Okay. Fine. All right. Um. What else? What else can we do? So, Abby obviously faked that whole thing. Can we look at the mirror? Can we do anything with the mirror? I guess not. Okay. Um, so Abby, so let's take stock. Obviously, obviously, Abby basically faked that whole thing. But for what reason? Why? From the books in her room, it looks like she was doing it for money. Which, okay, sure. Um. Oh, wait. Can we, can I turn? Can I, do I have to get, like, close? Oh, here we go. Matches. What's this? Oh. Oh. Key. Okay, we have a key. Um. Then we need the piano as well. Let's see. Sorry, it's kind of hard to maneuver these games, which is why I'm, like, clicking so much. Okay, um... It's stuck! Can I use this? It's stuck! No... Okay... We can't play it yet because we don't actually know... Oh, hello. And hidden beneath a river of colors. Oh, that's it? That's all we needed? Okay. So that's all we needed. Alright. Um. Okay. Let's go. Oh! I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want to open this door. Okay. Opening the door. I open the door. Okay. All seems to be good. Okay, so I'm wondering if this key goes to the attic. Uh, which way is the attic? It's this way. Oh, God. I really, really hate this. Okay. So, what is up here? We have a tile. Interesting. We have newspapers. Gazette. I don't know what that is, but okay. Um, 
Um, oh god, that's creepy. We have an iron. Okay, I guess we needed an iron. Alright. Um, oh, we have to close this. See, that's the thing about some of these games, is that you, like, have to close things or do whatever before you can... It's just very annoying. Okay, there's an old sewing machine. We have a journal. Oh, gosh. We dined with something or other, in a strange quarter of Shanghai, Brown and the Enchanted Dragon showed me the lovely... I cannot read this. I'm looking Mandarian? In my broken Mandarian, I asked about the old man. Okay, so she was in, like, China or something? I cannot read this. Okay. Yeah, I cannot, cannot, cannot read that. Alright, um... Let's keep circling here. What do I need in here? I don't know what I just took. Oh, is that a crowbar? Okay, I guess we needed a crowbar. Anything else I can take? No. Um, yeah, that's kind of the thing that uh, these old Nancy Drew games are different as... It's locked. Okay, this opens something. Oh. Nice, okay. Bandit's treasure. I'll wait in your bub your Baboina town in a house high above the sea. Two, this is a tale of the bandit's loot and how it came to be. The golden dreams of blissful love soon failed you and me. Oh my love, ride far and fast for me. I'll wait in your bu <coughs> excuse me, your Baboina town. And a house high above the sea. I traveled as far as the golden gate where I held your treasure true, where the rainbow ends in Christmas gold and the phoenix rises too. Oh, my love, ride far and fast for me. I'll wait in your Babuena town in a high, in a house high above the sea. Okay, so this looks like something to play on the piano. And there's something with these notes. So what is that note? Elephants go belly. Elephants go belly. Elephants go belly dancing. Oh wait, no, F A C E. That's E. Elephants go. That's G. That's A. And that's also G. So B E G A G. I need to remember that. I don't have a piece of paper in front of me. I'll have to remember that. B E G A G. Okay. Alright. Anything else? Eval does. Dear Pin, this letter shall serve as an introduction for my faithful employee, Wing Tan, who had been employed in my service and head chef for over 10 years. It is with much regret that I must something, something, and were it not for the scent of my oh my gosh I cannot read that and I can read cursive with the best of them but I cannot leave that okay the bandit's treasure charitable performance for the bandit oh interesting anything else oh and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. So someone was learning Chinese. At least that's what it looks like. Okay, well, I think this is the end of exploring the attic. Oh wait, can I? It's locked. Oh, it's gonna lock itself, okay. All right, anything over here? The mysterious story book. Okay, I lied, there's not. She pushed her auburn hair back behind her ear and continued the arduous work. Each pile of dirt seemed heavier than the last. Oh, this is about treasure. But what storybook is that? Treasure Island? I mean, I don't know. I don't know my storybooks necessarily. Alright, you guys. So, this is the attic. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Um... In the next part, we'll keep exploring the mansion and get some more clues. It looks like I need to put this tile in the study 
and then I need to talk to some of the characters because I'm not sure really where to go from here. So if you like this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you, my lovely little rose petals, in the next part. Bye, you guys. Thank you.